From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big midday here on LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of the 2021 season. That fourth stimulus check is getting a major push from the senators as they vow to add in an MSC now that the recon is off in the Senate. The senators vowed to add a lot of other checks on top of the existing checks that pay about $15,000. And in this recording of Holidays LA, we're gonna go over the big money that's available to pay your money right now under third stimulus. Then we'll be turning to student loan debt forgiveness and fifth stimulus. But in the true spirit of the holiday season, today on At Home Holidays LA, in the second half of this recording, we go over how to choose the right reef during the holiday season for you. What reef is best and what reef fits your decor. Then we'll look back at what happened last year when looking at holiday reefs. And I have your commentary about yesterday's video when we talked about Panatoni. I'll be jumping to the live chat and interacting with you on this special live edition direct from Santa Monica for Thanksgiving. It's a big holidays broadcast. I'm excited you're here. And the excitement of third stimulus, fourth stimulus, and the holidays begins right now. And there you go. The excitement is upon us with an incredible recon that'll pay you a lot of money in this incredible recon. But let's cut back to that holiday spirit. And happy Thanksgiving to all of you. This is Allied and Holidays Allied. Into this recording, we're going to go over your four stimulus check updated 2021 right off the bat, starting right now. The House of Representatives passed the incredible recon last week, and this week we are in the Senate. The Senators are vowing to add more items into this incredible recon, and those items could include an MSC. The recon so far has a lot of checks in there. Let's go over each of them starting right now. There's about $15,000 of checks. You can see very quickly that there may be upwards of fifty to sixty thousand dollars of checks before the senators get to it. In the first cluster, checks is hazard pay and the four thousand dollars for elder care. There's four thousand dollars to care for young children as well. They got in there at the Pell Grant five hundred fifty dollars checks for college students. They got the home repairs if you live in a low income community. They got also the twelve thousand five hundred dollars for the purchase price of your first electric vehicle. It's incredible. The first add-on comes from the illustrious Senate House Representative in Los Angeles, Maxine Waters. It is money for purchase of your first home. She got those checks in there as well. She wanted $25,000. It'll be a little bit less. You'll get this money when you go buy the purchase of your first home. It will be during the escrow period. Let's go to the second cluster of checks and those that are going in there as well. They are home repairs and paid leave. They also got the pre-kindergarten one-year check and also the weatherize your home. What does weatherize your home mean? Does it mean getting into the holidays 
spirit with new holiday wreaths? No, that is winterizing your home. Weatherizing your home is for getting that home prepared for natural disasters like whenever uh, Chuck Schumer uh, arrives with Princess Sinema. Then we go to the third add-on of che second add-on of checks that comes with the illustrious Bob Casey. Bob Casey got those checks in there, well covered benefits in this case, which would be for home health care for my seniors and people on disabilities. Then the third cluster of checks are huge and they got those in there which are for seniors and free internet. It includes money for farmers. Free internet, cheaper prescription medication, the immigration reform, and then the seniors' money, which starts with two add on with two checks, but the Senate is vowed to add three more. What are the two that are in there? The Medicaid gap states broadening Medicare to three to twelve other states, and then the hearing aid, but Bernie Sanders vows to add in dental, vision, and also uh, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, which tees up exactly the conversation about MSC, which stands for multiple IRS stimulus check. In the last five days, legislators have told the viewers of the channel, no less than three legislators, separate senators, that they're still adding in that MSC. That is after they have told thousands of viewers since the month of May. It started with W.R. and Bob Casey back in the month of May and has continued with Brother Joshua, Donnie and thousands of viewers ever since with those six senators. Those six senators have represented they would give a month a check, at least one or two. And those six senators you would advocate for during this holiday season by leaving them a voice message saying why you need it are the two C's, the two S's, and the two W's. Casey Coons, Warren Wyden, and Sandra Schumer. How much do they want to give? The last indication was two thousand dollars the first month, a thousand dollars thereafter for six months. And what eligibility though they want to do? They want to do the same eligibility as third stimulus, which is seventy five thousand or less. You got a third stimulus check, single individual. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand or less. You got to double it. Family four, quadruple. They wanted to give it. To, they got it. And then also people on SSI, SSDI, and Social Security, and also railroad benefits and disabilities. They want you to have it as well. Now, what's very interesting is that as we go over to the Senate and we look at this graphic that I have on air that the recon so far is about $15,000, no, it looks like it's about $60,000. What's happened? Well, one of those checks, which was the money for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, it's front end. It's not back end. So that is an additional $12,500 if it's an electric car, U.S. auto manufacturer, made in the U.S. plant. Next, all the big money available under third stimulus is repeated under four stimulus. So on Afternoons LA, which is coming up right after this video, you're going to learn about how to get that big money from third stimulus. It is rent. It is utilities. It is mortgage assistance. And guess what? I've had viewers just in the last 24 hours. Just for this Thanksgiving, they got thousands of dollars just in the last 24 hours. It's from third stimulus. And that third stimulus was a, has paid viewers on average about $45,000 for this channel. So imagine that $45,000 is added on top of this fifty. Fifteen thousand, and on top of twelve thousand dollars, yeah, we're looking at about sixty thousand dollars of checks in this fourth stimulus recon. Before the senators add more checks, and what are those more checks the senators want to add? In addition to that MSC, Bernie wants to add in there dental, and he also wants to add in vision and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare. Ron Wyden says he has a lot of checks to add in there as well across the board. And what's important to understand is you need to advocate. They want to hear from you, and they say it's a good bill, but it has a lot of missing gaps. In the second half of this video, we will be looking at holiday decor. And in today's recording, we do a couple things. First, we look back at the holiday reefs of this channel from last year, and we look forward into what type of holiday reefs you should use for this year. We take back some of the cop we go over some of the comments from yesterday's video in which we discussed the dessert of the holiday season in Italy, panettone, and how you can deliver it to families and friends this holiday season for just dollars on the dollar. We go over also your live chat. I jump into the live chat and interact with you on this wonderful Thanksgiving weekend and see what you're doing for holiday spirit and more. Those details coming up after the commercial break. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. 
That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And there you go. I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful Thanksgiving. And thank you for joining me on Holidays LA. One of the themes of the holidays is holiday reefs. And a lot of people use reefs whether or not it's the holiday or just a common day of the year. If you've been with this channel for over a year, you know that this channel had lots of reefs in 2020 as part of its backdrop. How different is a reef then as a different as a reef going forward? How do you pick the type of reefs? And what are the different types of reefs? Can you make a reef yourself? And what type of reef is best for you? Let's look back on this channel a year ago, December 12th, and let's look at the how this channel looked with having a reef on set. This reef at the time was a reef sold by Restoration Hardware. It wasn't bought that year, but it was bought years earlier. And it's a reef that uses fake flowers with a burlap wood backdrop. So you would not only really think of burlap as a way to do a reef, but in this case, the tones were beige, white, and soft greens. Fake flowers made to look like a very sort of soft, wintry look not denominational, no reds, no greens, nothing Christmassy, something you could almost use all throughout the fall and the early spring. Let's look and see how it looked at the time on LA. The weekend's upon us as the push is underway for a second stimulus with a procedural blockade actually in place next week to prevent the continuing resolution of the budget bill from passing unless there's a stimulus check sent out to millions of Americans. It's the incredible great news which I detail first on LA Late Mornings today, a way in which to block any operations of the federal government after next week to ostensibly shut it down unless a stimulus check is sent out. But we also need PUA and UI. That's likely to happen. And we also need eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance. We need that get done, get done as well. And what will happen in the next 48 hours? I'll have those. So there you go. That was the reef. And of course, Nancy figuring uh, out procedural problems with recon. <laughs> Then, much like now. Um, but look at the reef on the set at the time. The reef has those sort of earthy tones. Beige burlap, which you never think of usually for a reef. Uh, white, it's a paper, it's not a real flower. And then uh, some light, soft greens, not your earthy greens for Christmas, which you see on my other side of the set. So very a simple type of reef, not glitzy, not glamoury, and very, very earthy. In this type of reef, what makes sense is that it works in almost all types of rooms as a sedate message. It's just... It's, it's, it's soft, it's holidays, and it's, it's wintry. Nothing ornate and nothing glitzy. Now, by comparison, you can do different types of reefs of all different sizes. Here's a very small reef, and in this case, the reef is actually a horn. It's a French horn, and you see the French horn has a sort of a luster of the, of the blue on it, and then you have a little bit 
of a uh, of a bow in the top. And then you have a little bit about the straw hay to give it a little bit of sense. And look how simple this version of a modern type of reef works. Very interesting across the board. Now, when you think about reefs, you're also thinking about reefs that are very, very uh, elaborate and very glitzy. And here is one reef uh, featured in the 2020 season of Holidays in LA as well. This was one of the most elaborate reefs. As a major windstorm comes in here in Southern California, we have the Santa Anas. Hopefully, I don't blow away back to Kansas or something. Let's see if I can get this on a very tight set here. So here is the reef, and I'm inside the reef. Uh, the <laughs> This is going to be one from the ages. Uh, hosting inside of a reef. Um, so this has a beautiful uh, gold lame type uh, ribbon. Of course, it's fake. And then you have these small little uh, pears. I was going to say uh, apples, but they're not. I think they're I think they're pears, and they have they're they're fake, of course, and they are all have this sort of golden luster. The reef may look sort of beige because I'm very tight on set, but it's basically a very goldenish reef with a lot of beiges across the board. What's important to understand when looking at reefs is that the reef in, this, in all those three examples was beige. The reef was not green, it was not red, and it was not what you would typically think of as a reef. Why does this work? It works because it can, it can be kept outside of the holiday season. It's certainly not denominational, it's not Christmassy, and in the case of many households like mine, we just like reefs all year round. We got a spring reef. We got an Easter reef. We, we got a summer reef. And then we got the wall, the fall reefs. The way you denounce, denounce sort of a fall reef is these earthy tones. And that's what works across the board. When choosing a reef, do you buy or make? A lot of people enjoy the making, but it's an effort. You need the hot gun. You need the, you need the, uh, the items. And certainly the investment in making a reef could cost you over, 15, 000, over $15. But buying a reef, a lot of the great reefs out there today are anywhere in the $15 to $80 range. And so when considering time management and the holidays, it's not going to save you a lot more money to make it than to buy it. Now, a lot of people would have a reef that's unique to their style, and that's why they want to make it. They would have a reef that particularly has their 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 passion, whether it's a turtle or, or an aardvark or a llama. They want to have a llama reef, um, or they want to have things that embody their spirit. What I recommend you to do is always think about time management. In many cases, you can buy the form of the reef and then add on to it, and be literally done in a matter of an hour. A simple form reef can be bought at your at your supply store, at your arts and crafts. Then you can add in the elements very, very quickly. You may have them around the home. You may not have to buy them. And a hot glue gun, very, very simple across the board. Yesterday, we featured the wonders of Panettone. And let's take a look back at that message. And then I have some comments from one viewer about what she recommends for Panettone and also for what we covered in that video, which was using seashells for holiday decor. Let's take also, a look back at that video from yesterday. With holiday decor. First, Panettone. You may have seen it at your local stores. You may have seen it at Ross or Marshalls or even your Macy's or May Company. And what is panettone? It is an Italian baked dessert that has been in the Italian culture for years. It is a bread, sweet bread, a type dessert, and it's packaged and wrapped. Now, when you see it in the stores, how do you know which one to pick? And what are the options and how, what are the different sizings? In the United States, there's generally two sizes that are available, sizes available. The larger size, and there you go. That was yesterday's Panettone. So what did one viewer say about that when approaching the holiday season? Anne, in her comments on Instagram, said that she likes to make French toast out of Panettone. Very, very fascinating. Now, I'm not particularly quite clear how she would do it because most of the Panettone I buy is very, very moist. So making it into a French toast would require some sort of effort to it. Um, I would, you know, if it's dried up, then absolutely that makes sense. 
but um, f the, the difficulty about the panettone is the shape, and so you have to cut it on the sort of bias to make that French coast. It sounds delicious, great idea. She also talked about using sort of a creme brulee approach when dossing your oyster, when dossing your uh, clamshells. Yesterday we featured on this channel nautical themes for holidays and how you can use a clamshell or an oyster shell uh, to fill it with either decorations, food, or even little messages on the holiday table. And she said she loves to do it with just like a creme brulee and build it up. Absolutely wonderful. In the same video, which I featured from last year, in that video, um, I also show in there what ultimately becomes the Christmas tree for LA of 2020. You may have watched it on this channel. What was the important thing to remember about that Christmas tree? You gotta get it early. <laughs> I always default on getting the Christmas tree around the Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah, so I usually default to getting the Christmas tree around the Thanksgiving weekend. Why? Uh, the crowds, one. Two, uh, it, it, it remains fresh throughout the holiday season. Three, you want to have a tree throughout the holiday season. It's an effort, and you don't want to leave the tree to the last second. Uh, four, yeah, you get your pick of the, of, of the litter. So you want to get there early, and you want to get in, in and out early. A lot of the tree lots are open very, very early, especially with holiday traffic. I would get in there and get out early. What I always recommend, if you're buying your holiday tree this holiday of this weekend, this Thanksgiving weekend, bring it in. And I know this sounds crazy, but I leave it outside first in a dog bowl. Put it in a dog bowl. Fill the dog bowl up with water. Resaturate that tree a lot with a massive amount of water before you bring it into the home. Don't have a dog bowl. Don't have a dog. Then use just a big cooking pot. Put it in the cooking pot. Fill it up with water so it really sinks, sinks, uh, sinks in that saturation of water before you bring it in and then it's ahead of the game you know what also if you have this availability if it works in your environment i take a garden hose sometimes wash it down just lightly so it gets re-energized they definitely water them in the water park in the in the in the in the parks but what i want you to do is get it into that saturation Going back to those holiday wreaths, so it's important to understand is when getting a wreath, you want to bring something that fits that room and don't feel uh, abnormal if you want to bring in more than one wreath. Wreaths, as you saw in that holiday set, is not denounced just for a front door or a back door or the inside of the door. Wreaths can be anywhere you want it to be. Uh, I like wreaths inside more than even outside. <laughs> it's, you know, if you're looking at the decor, you want to be able to see it. So if it's outside, you don't necessarily see it. Especially in accl acclimate, uh, bad weather like today, where we have these very bad windstorms here in Southern California today. You know, you put the reef out today, it may be gone. It may be, in, it may be down in San Diego by this afternoon. It may blow away. Uh, let's meantime, let's jump into the live chat and let's see what people are doing with their holiday wreaths. Let me see your sort of comments of what you do with holiday wreaths and when you get your trees. When do you buy your trees is the question of the day. And what do you like with holiday wreaths? Let's see. We see Sandy in the room. We see Lynn Glenn. Happy Thanksgiving. We say Anne, who is the person who had the recipes uh, uh, for, um, for dousing those oyster and clamshells. Um, let's see who else is, uh, so when do you buy your tree and also when do, what type of reefs do you buy? Uh, anywhere <laughs> says, uh, says Julie, I buy it anywhere. Yeah. But when I would buy it as soon as possible, um, tree field trip this weekend, uh, and says, absolutely. Uh, you want to get in and get that tree as soon as possible. I love doing crafts, says Margaret. Um, I just saw a panettone of family dollar. It looked like a looked like a fruit cake bread. Um, absolutely, the way you you way you pick it up is that wrapping and the imagery on the box very is usually very accurate. Uh, Anne says I have a reef made of jingle bells. Wow, sounds wonderful. Absolutely. Um, uh, there is a lot of very kind messages. I love the golden reef, says Anne. Uh, then wait for the reef to blow down my way. <laughs> Someone said, uh, if you got a reef in Los Angeles, I like wait for it to blow, blow to my town. Absolutely. Uh, planted with lights year round. Yeah. A lot of people replant their Christmas tree. It's, you know, 
it, it will look like a tree when you plant it. It doesn't look like something else. Um, I make my own reefs. It says dragon. What type of reefs do you make dragon? Do you make a dragon reef? Maybe the ornaments on the reef are little dragons. Maybe the dragons eating little trolls. <laughs> uh, there is a Sandy. L light, artificial uh, six foot tree, lights everything, lights up. That sounds beautiful. So Sandy goes for the artificial tree. A lot of people love the artificial tree. This day and age, the artificial trees are very lifelike. It's just incredible. Um, <laughs> people still waiting for the reef to blow it down the street. Uh, use the Pantone to make French toast, says Anne. Absolutely. I don't know how you would slice it, uh, and I don't know how you get sort of the moisture out of it so that it's uh, in the, hot and sort of brown in the skillet. Then maybe you have to get the skillet hot enough. There's Dragon, says, reef usually made of solar lights and natural stuff. Uh, that's native. Wow. That's beautiful. Sandy says she has a six foot artificial tree. And uh, Anne says, I like to make wreaths from branches of other Christmas trees. Yes. You know, um, a lot of the department stores like, uh, or a lot of the stores like a Costco sell a wreath with, with their trees. The important to understand thing is that a lot of those wreaths are not necessarily that fresh. So you have to be sure that when you buy the wreath, it's fresh. I have certainly bought those store-bought wreaths with um, prior limbs. And I've given it a week and it's gone. <laughs> so you have to be careful. You choose one across the board. Uh, Jackie says, hello, Purple Power. How are you? Um, uh, Bob, uh, Bob says, I'm going to try that. Um, Sandy says, no crafts for me. Um, Panettone fru fruitcake is a dryer bread. Uh, my Panettones I buy are never dry. If you're buying a Panettone and it's dry then you may want to shop somewhere else. All the panettones I buy, even the fruit one, are very, very moist. They literally uh, drizzle in your hand. They are that moist. That really is the way to do it. I like to make, uh, uh, did someone say a bacon uh, reef? Yeah, I, I'm not doing a bacon reef yet. Not not just this year. It'll be a little bit brittle. Um, and, you know, if there's any bacon sitting around, I'm going to eat it. I'm not going to put it on a reef. <laughs> uh um, uh, there's some trees outside. Yeah, a lot of people just like to decorate the tree outside rather than bringing it inside. Lingland likes some sweet potato pies. Oh, sounds wonderful, Lingland. Everyone loves a hot, uh, some hot made homemade sweet potato pies. Um, there's Robert Jonas. I just watched Avita and Ella Fitzgerald left. Wow, that sounds wonderful. Um, there's some uh, disagreement in the live chat about whether fruitcake is good or whether fruitcake is not good. We're having fruitcake wars. I mean, maybe we have to replace frame wars with fruitcake wars. <laughs> Do something uh, with this group. Um, what's important to understand when buying that holiday tree is really sort of time management. You need to figure out what day you're going to buy it, what day you're going to transport it, what day you're going to soak it, pre-soak it, what day you're going to bring it in. When are you gonna when are you gonna decorate it? Then the dismantling it. Probably the biggest effort across the board is bringing everything in to get lined up and and into position. And as you saw in uh, that video um, from last year, I actually go to the tree park in last year's 2020 video and show you how many trees are available there. Let's just um, let me see if I can tee it up and grab into where I go into the tree park in, uh, you know, I'm pulling a video that is uh, off of uh, off of YouTube, that is Allied's video, and there's a commercial running. Uh, so wait a second to the commercial runs. Uh, the, the beauty of a live TV. Um, but that, that tree park um, certainly had a lot of trees in it. And let's see if I can tee it up for you. And so you can see, oh, here we go. So, here is uh, the tree from 2020 and going to the actual tree park. Um, that tree park shows you um, that they really bring them in full numbers early on. This is early on. This is around the Thanksgiving weekend. And you really want to get in there and get those trees. Look how many are to choose across the board. 
You want to get in there. Let me take off that. Oh, I, I don't know if I can take out the advertisement. Yeah, I can. Um, you can see how many trees are in my background there across the board. Let's get a longer shot. Yeah, a lot of trees. You don't know what the supply chain issues will be for trees this year. <laughs> you know, we have enough problems with trucking things and imagine trucking trees in. Um, so you definitely want to get into that tree park and get those trees quickly so that um, you have your pick of the litter. Let me go back into the live chat and see some of uh, the other comments. Wow, it just seems like night and day. I like to get a real tree that can plant after the holidays, says Jackie. Wonderful. Lynn Glenn says, happy uh, Thanksgiving, everyone. Uh, Sandy says, I love to cook a turkey breast. Yes, turkey breast is absolutely wonderful. Sandy says, we have Marie Callender pumpkin pies, Bob Evans mashed potatoes, and some stovetop stuffing, cranberry. Um, the Marie Callender pumpkin pie is quite delicious. I've had it before. It's wonderful. It is really, really tasty. But of course, I'm, I'm savoring the thought of Ling Glenn's sweet potato pie. It just sounds wonderful. Uh, <laughs> maybe Ling Glenn should share us some of the recipes for that. Sounds just wonderful, Ling Glenn. Julie says, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, Bob Bacon says, Where's the Mitch Ball? Yeah, um, that's for Halloween. It's actually for, for New Year's Eve. Got to bring it back in. Um, the other Julie says, Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, you want to have that um, that solar powered Christmas tree <laughs> dragon? I love it. Uh, you know, you have to be eco friendly. I mean, does the White House? Do you think? Uh, do you think Kevin DC with his eco friendly has an eco friendly Christmas tree? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, uh, I can just imagine uh, Brian DC at the at the Christmas tree park. Yes, but which one is for clean energy? I need a tree that I can hook up the eco-friendly, climate-friendly, carbon, no footprint uh, lights so that, uh, you know, there's no footprint. And uh, and and uh, and John Kerry, you know, our energy czar, say, oh, no, we're not having Christmas tree. It's, it has to be solar panel this year. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not having one. Uh, there you go. Meantime, did you hear the excitement? Yeah, the excitement is that sirloin, is coming back with his own new show. Yeah, can you imagine? He, they gave they gave Sherloin on this channel his own show. It's called Calcino. Calcino is coming back with Sherloin as a star, and it also features Javita Light and Blaine Six Six. I will make some appearances sporadically as the guest as a guest uh, appearance uh, in in my personal capacity. But Sherloin is a star. Wow! It's called Calcino, and it will be coming to this channel. It will be live, and you could see it as early as tomorrow. Very, very exciting. Uh, meantime, I wish every one of you a beautiful holiday uh, season. What's important to understand is that the holiday is about bringing people together. Thanksgiving is about bringing people together. And find that commonality. Find that commonality of, of kindred spirit. We found an incredible family across this channel. And we eat differently. What do you think that, uh, that turkeys think when they watch us eat? Let's take a look. <laughs> Tomorrow, we'll feature how to dress up 
Thanksgiving leftovers. Send me your messages on social media, private message on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook of what you do with your Thanksgiving leftovers, and I may feature them live on air. Thank you for Anne for her contribution, for her panettone and comments about the oyster and the nautical theme that she does around her home. Meantime, get out and get that Christmas tree ready because it's the holiday season. And if you have other comments and questions about today's video, send it to me as well. Join me next as Afternoons LA heats up at 1 o'clock today. Then a brand new Afternoons LA show at 3 o'clock. It's brand new today. A brand new Evenings LA at 5 o'clock. And get ready for the return and the debut of Calcino. Watch for the latest trailers on that dropping on social media on this, or on this channel. And with that, thank you for joining me across the board for a beautiful day. Uh, and as always, stay informed with everything that's happening. We have a big week ahead of us. And with that, subscribe. Before 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record, I want you to part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video and consider becoming a member. Have a beautiful day. And again, here's a spirit of the holiday season daily on Holidays LLA. Thank you.